हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द आई सी टी क्लास होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ सो जस्ट वी कैन मेमोराइज वॉट ऑल आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट क्लास ओके यू ऑल विल बी नोइंग दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर एंड ऑल्सो चैप्टर नेम इज वेन अ लेक्टर रीचेस द कंप्यूटर एंड ऑल्सो वट वी हैव डन we have uh, in that chapter we have studied more about the keyboard and also the keyboard layout keyboard layout means how the letters are arranged in the keyboard it it is arranged in a specific order that means we can name the keyboard as qwerty keyboard also right so uh, uh, and also uh, you you can you saw the keyboard layout and related to fingers uh, it is explained in the textbook right Uh, and also uh, uh, we have discussed about the four methods that is used to input the text to computer so what all are that four methods first one is keyboard which we have already discussed another one is text to speech uh, what was that to recognize the text to input the text in the form of voice messages third one is ocr which is also known as optical character recognition which is a software that is recognition software that used to uh, recognize the text from scanned documents and images and also another one is handwriting software this software will recognize the text from touch screens what all text we are typing on the touch screen this type of software will recognize that text and it will give that text to computer as input so these all are the four methods to Uh, uh, input a text to computer, and the last one which we have discussed is we have just introduced a new software named Kata software that is which is used to practice, learn, uh, practice and learn typing. Okay, so in this class we will be discussing more about the Kata software, and also we will be uh, writing a poem in LibreOffice Writer. and also some steps some of the important points are there which we have to keep in mind while writing okay so just we can start our topics okay so here i am going to open kata software how we can open the kata software application application for education in application education you can see kata's software okay so we got us we are soft we got that uh, window opened here uh, this we have already discussed you can see j and f so we have to practice typing here so here you can see start training click on that click on that a new window will be coming here you can see the time you can see the accuracy okay so uh, here you can see the two but keys which was in a, in, in uh, uh, this white color and also you can see the backspace key space bar key these all they are uh, they have given in white color okay here uh, in the f key f f alphabet key you can see a Uh, blinking blue color right so why it is like that here we have to they are asking us to type f they are asking us to type f the next they are asking to type j after that the cursor move on were to space bar so they are asking to put space bar again they are asking to put j f so what i have done i have i typed it mistake so they ask for delete in they are uh, asked to put backspace so i put the backspace again they are asking for the space bar again f space bar j space bar f space bar f space bar f j see how i am typing how it is going you can see they are directing us in this software they are giving training they are directing us to uh, type the uh, the accurate keys okay and so and also uh, while we are typing you can see the time moving here 
see okay so uh, how much uh, like we can type uh, if we practice typing without looking the keys we can type very fastly okay so this software will help us to do that uh, and also you can see the white color on f and j that means uh, in the keyboard layout or uh, like which we have studied in the last class you can see uh, the picture of the keyboard uh, which is filled with colors the keys are filled with colors and also you can uh, you saw the uh, fingers our fingers also so here the index finger that means or the pointing pointing finger we have to keep on the f f key okay they they put the lines in the keyboard also you can see uh, in your keyboard you can see the lines under f and j that means we have to start typing from these keys we have to keep our pointing key otherwise the index finger we have to keep on f and j our uh, left index finger we have to keep on f and uh, the uh, the right index finger we have to keep on j okay from that we have to start typing or uh, all other fingers we have to keep on other keys okay and also we all know uh, we all see uh, the thumb key is used for clicking on the uh, the space bar so if needed we can uh, we have to use the space bar uh, by clicking by using the, our thumb key if you are writing uh, if you are uh, typing with our left hand uh, you have to use the right hand thumb and if you are writing with the right hand you have to use the left hand thumb so by using these methods i am going to type okay so you can see f f j f f j space f f j space f space f j f space f space f space j j f space f j j f space j f space f j j f j f j f okay so you can see here how fast i have typed so here they will be uh, they will be uh, showing the times and uh, this uh, uh, timing and all and, and also they are showing the accuracy so uh, if you got the uh, if uh, like practical sections and all you can practice typing here other others uh, that means you uh, those who having the computer you can practice okay others note down the steps okay so this is about the ktet software which helps to practice the typing so next what we have to discuss with next we have discussed uh, we have to discuss about the mouse which is another input device okay uh, the full form of mouse is manually operated user selection equipment okay manually operated user selection equipment you all will be knowing about uh, three types of mouses are the track bar mouse optical mouse of wireless and optical mouse wired we all will be uh, frequently using the optical mouse of wired in uh, practical labs and all you can see the mouse connected from the computer it is an optical mouse which is of wired you can see the wire also here uh, this mouse uh, we uh, this we are pointing on the letters and text how we are pointing it is according to the led light okay so uh, down on the mouse you can see an led light this is, so this led light will reflects the pointer but in optical mouse of wireless you can't see the wire okay so uh, the reason uh, we will be using we will be uh, we will be connecting a usb receiver we will be uh, connecting on the cpu from this usb receiver will be uh, act as the pointer so okay so they will scan the text they will scan the letters and text in that way we can uh, we can uh, point we can put the cursor on the text and images so or whatever we are writing we can put the cursor by using this optical mouse wireless okay so in, in wireless optical mouse the usb receiver is act as in, act as the pointer in wired optical mouse a lady light act as the pointer okay so these all are the uh, uh, another input device uh, then this is the uh, some a brief 
introduction about the mouse okay so uh, this is not explained in the chapter but just for a general information or just for a general knowledge i explained it okay so next one is so we know how to type letters how to type symbols and characters in keyboard we all know that so uh, for what purpose we are studying to type this letters and symbols for what all purposes it is used it is used to uh, we can uh, for drafting letters we can use for preparing articles for preparing documents okay so uh, we, we study to type this letters symbols and characters for this purpose in future you will be drafting letters you will be uh, preparing articles okay so uh, for doing this uh, uh, for in easy way you have to practice typing you have to study in detail about the letters symbols and characters okay so here what we are doing is here we are going to write a poem okay so uh, we have to write a poem where we will write the poem so at the time of typing uh there will be uh, it is may happen some mistakes or if you want to edit also there will be uh, we need some tools we need some help okay so where we can write a poem there are a uh, numerous software which help us to prepare or process the text that we input into a computer in the way we wish if we want to type the letter or if we want to type a text there is there are some numerous software which help us to do that okay so these all are the softwares libre office writer microsoft word apache apache open office writer ib word so here we are using a most common uh, software which is known as libre office writer okay the software is developed by the document foundation so in the uh, libre office write, uh, writer we will be writing we will be writing the poem okay uh, this libre of office writer is a word processor software okay so uh, you all will be knowing that how to open the libre office writer you maybe you all uh, 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 write this um, uh, what we uh, uh, if you want uh, this you you write the letters you can write the letters you can draft uh, le uh, images you can uh, insert the images a lot of features are there in libre office writer so uh, how you can open that so that will be will be discussing how we can open libre office writer application you have to go to office and you can see here libre office writer so when we open uh, you will be getting a a4 size page so here we can start typing so i am going to start uh, writing a poem okay so what was that poem okay about the taj mahal taj mahal is considered as one of the seven wonders of the world so i am going to type that okay you can see here just a second i will close these tabs okay so i am going to type about the taj mahal okay so i am going to write taj mahal is considered taj mahal is considered as the what was that as one of the seven wonders of the world as one of the seven wonders of the world okay so i want to uh, type second line okay so after each line you have to put the full stop okay and also next i have to go to the second line okay i am uh, 
pressing on enter key so this goes to the second line and also there is one more process one more option i can press shift enter i am pressing the key shift enter then also i can move to the second line okay so if you are writing a poem if this line is finished and uh, uh, or if you want to type the second line uh, uh, like uh, type the second line in the in second row that means this taj mahal is considered as one of the seven wonders of the world so this was the line first line so next i have to type in the second row that means this row i have to write i have to type so uh, for uh, how we can do that either you can click on the enter key or shift enter sometimes uh, after writing the paragraph and all uh, if we press the enter key what will happen is it will move like this okay space will be coming but we don't want space okay i have to write this second line immediately after the first line that means here i have to write okay so for that you have to click on the shift enter key for moving to next line so i will be using i will be again i will be writing okay next one is it is a work of art that excels time and history it is a work of it's a work of art that excels time and history okay and also i am typing uh, so now now i am not looking to the poem uh, whatever i am i am typing here like this okay or a uh, or else i will or else i will type the original text that will be clear to you the following lines are from tagore's poem shah jahan next line is the following lines are the are from the tagore's poem Shah Jahan. Okay, so here I am finishing my second line. Okay, here I am finishing my third line. So I have to go to fourth line. From here I have to start my fourth line. So how I can go? I have to press on Shift Enter. So you can see the cursor here. So I can start typing. Okay. so if i want to move to another paragraph so this is one paragraph so i am uh, typing on so i have to uh, if you want i if i want to move to another paragraph i can press enter key where i have to start so from where uh, from which position i have to start the second paragraph you can type the you can click on the enter key okay so this is the two keys we are, which we are uh, which is a uh, you all will be knowing that familiar keys they are so these are the keys which we are used to for writing at the time of writing which helps us to write the properly this keys will help us to write properly right okay so this and uh, we all know about the enter key and uh, shift plus enter key shift plus enter key is used to go to second line or the line after the previous just the line after the previous line okay and the paragraph for to moving for the for moving to another paragraph we can press the enter key okay so hope it is clear to you okay to start a new paragraph press enter key to go to next line that means not as a new paragraph without completing the previous line if i am not completing the previous line or if i want to go to next line i can hold the shift key and press the enter key 
okay and also one thing we have to keep in mind is while typing these lines leave a space after each word and when we complete a sentence don't forget to put a full stop and a space okay while we are typing the lines after each words we have to leave a space like this you can see here just a second okay while i am typing my name is i type my after that you have to put space name again put space is again put space babita okay next i want to move to the next line okay how i can go shift and i am your ict teacher so this is the second second line okay next i am going i am taking classes for high school i am taking classes sorry in high school okay so this is one paragraph so uh, are you uh, assume this is one paragraph if i want to go to another paragraph i can press the enter key and i can start from here okay i am the class teacher i am the class teacher of eighth standard okay like that you can write okay so if i am uh, i am uh, while typing the i got mistakes you all will be getting mistakes while typing so what i am doing is uh, you can see here teacher like that so i i uh, this teacher spelling is not correct okay a must be here so what i have to do i have to use the backspace key right i am using the backspace key and i am editing that text teacher okay now it is okay otherwise you can use and one more key also that is delete key i can select this text and i can press the delete key okay so these are the two ways if if we got uh, mistakes while typing if we got mistakes we can use these keys we can seek help of these keys that which was that delete uh, delete key and backspace key okay that means text editing place the cursor on incorrect word use the backspace key to delete the letter on the left of the cursor so before the cursor that means i will show you once more i am placing the cursor here i am i am clicking on the left side to left side i am clicking right okay to delete the letter on the right of the cursor use the delete key okay what was it saying i am the class teacher of 8th so this is the, the spelling is uh, uh, it is it is a mistake row no uh, std must come so i have to correct it so i am using the second method of deleting the key so i am placing the cursor here i am selecting the word i am dragging my uh, dragging to right side and after selecting 
I can press it on the delete key. Okay. So, this is, these are the keys which help us to write, uh, to practice typing or to write the letters and all. These all keys uh, are available in library office writer which help us to type easily. Okay. So, these all are the things which we have discussed in, uh, we have discussed, we, we, we are discussing, we, which we have discussed in the, this section. So, in the next uh, uh, section, we will be discussing more about the folders, uh, text editing uh, and also um, how to type more easily. Okay, so what all things we have discussed, we can just summarize. We have discussed about the KTS software, how we know how to open the KTS software after opening the, uh, uh, after doing, after uh, describing, you can see a window of the KTS software. So in that window, you practice how to type. And also, we know, uh, uh, I already told, we have to start from F and J. We have to start typing from F, uh, F and J key. Okay. And also, uh, we will be using the thumb for clicking on the space bar and all other fingers for typing the other, uh, for clicking on the other keys. And we all, uh, for typing, for convenient typing, we will be using a software name LibreOffice Writer. We all know how to open the software that is application Office LibreOffice Writer. So if you open, you will be getting a page, a for size page. So uh, there we can type uh, whatever we want to. We, we can write a letter or we can write a, a poem or stories. Whatever we want, you can write. So at the at the time of writing, there will be uh, the there will be occurring the mistakes and all. So, for convenience, there are some keys which help us to type. Okay. So, uh, the keys used the enter key that is used to, to move to another paragraph. Shift plus enter key to go to next line. And uh, at the time of mistakes and all, for editing the text, we will be using backspace key and also delete key. Okay. So, this much we have discussed in the class. So, uh, those who have computers please practice to write okay and also just go through the chapter okay so see you in the next class hope it is clear to you if you have any doubts please pause the video write down the doubts okay so we will be discussing in the next session okay so see you in the next class bye